Hello everyone, here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can capture delivery locations with a map in your Shopify store. Or maybe you can also call it add map in our Shopify store or you can say capturing customer delivery locations. So actually I was working on a Shopify store where I had needed the customer location. So I implemented it and then I thought that I need to share with you. So you only need to uh, follow the documentation. I'm already going to explain you in detail in this video and we'll also show you the example that how it works. So you don't need to pay for a Shopify app. You just need to copy and paste this code and you can use it for a lifetime. So let me show you step by step that how you can do it yourself in your Shopify store without having any coding knowledge. So first of all, you can see the uh, situation of my store. So right now I have this home page and uh, for say example, I have this product. Maybe I am uh, choosing any other product. This one clicking on add to cart. And on this cart page, I don't have any way to collect the customer location. So basically I am interested to uh, add the feature here so that the customer could able to uh, enter the details of the location. Maybe we can say to the customer that you can also put your current location. And then after the delivery will be easily available in that location. So first of all, you need to go back to the dashboard of the Shopify store. I have used in Dawn theme. If you have any other theme, then still this feature will work because this is a common solution for all the themes. So let's see how we can work on it. So firstly, you should click on these three dots and then duplicate this theme so that you have an original version of the backup. And then after you should again click on these three dots and then click on edit code. And inside of this, you will have some folders and files. So basically I am going to explain you in detail through the documentation. I have already given the link below in the description. So you just need to click on that link and then you will be getting all these three files. So firstly, I have to open documentation.txt and inside of it, I have already given all the steps which I am going to follow in this video. So now the first step is that create a new snippet google dash map dash delivery dash location dot liquid so i'm going to copy this name and going to uh, dashboard here and here you can see that we have snippets click on it and then after you should click on this file new file and paste that name which we have just now copied and then press enter key so in that way you will able to create a new snippet file so once you created this snippet file, then you need to paste the attached code. So going back here, you can see that we have Google map delivery location dot liquid. So we need to copy the code from here and then after go back here, paste that code and then save the changes. So this is how we have created one snippet file. In the same way, you should go back to the documentation. Here we have the second step, which is create a new JS file in assets so that name of the file will be google dash map dash delivery dash location dot js so you just need to copy this name and go back here and i need to find here assets click on assets and then click on new file and paste that name here press enter key once you uh, have created this file like this then you need to paste the attached code so i have already given that code here google dash map dash delivery dash location dot js so you just need to copy this complete code from here and then go back and paste it here once you pasted that code then you can actually save the changes and then you can close this file now go back here to the documentation so we have to follow the third step which is go to sections open main dash cart dash footer dot liquid so let me go back here and here you can see that we have uh, snippets sorry we have to go back to sections here we have sections scroll down and we have man dash cart dash footer dot liquid so in this file we are going to paste this line of code so actually we are going to include those snippets inside of this file so here on the top here uh, in this line I'm going to paste it right here and then save the changes Again, going back to the documentation, we have another last uh, thing to add, which is this script. I mean the JS file which we have created, we also need to include that file inside of SAM file, which is man-cart-footer.liquid. 
so you just need to scroll it little bit down and here you can see that we have schema just above this schema you need to paste that line of code and then save the changes and that's it now you can close this file and we have already completed all the steps which were in the documentation now let me refresh this page and here we go you can see that we have the delivery location map uh, right here if we are pressing enter key then you can see that we have an error that customer has to add the current location or maybe any other location selecting from this map so how we can test this feature you can also see the mobile view of this you can see this looks more beautiful so let me show you how it works so if i am clicking on use my current location so it will actually access my current location if i am uh, dragging somewhere else for example li like this so you can see that that specific location is added here so this specific address we will be getting in the back end i mean once a customer will be placing an order then that address will be tracked and that you will find it in your dashboard so let me take an example actually i am not going to buy the real product i am going to uh, make the price little bit uh, smaller and then let me give you an example so for example i am clicking on products and here we have multiple products for say example honey uh, no that is not so maybe uh, I am considering this uh, banana. So let me click on that and let me make this price to zero and then let me save these changes. And then after let's try to remove these from the cart and let's go back to here and we have this banana which is uh, zero. The value of price is zero. Let me click on add to cart and here we go now we have to add for say example uh, my current location or you can also do it like dragging the location for say example like this actually you have a lot of uh, other things here you can uh, click press uh, plus icon you can click minus icon so in the same way you can actually uh, zoom it and zoom out and if you want you can also see the satellite view so you can see that satellite view is also available if you want to put it in bigger screen so that is also possible and then after you can actually click on checkout because we have already selected the location once you are clicking on checkout then you can see that we have all the things mentioned here let me add uh, a email So I have added all my delivery uh, related uh, information and now I'm going to click on complete order. Here we go. Now you can see that uh, this order has been placed. Now I'm going to check the order from the backend. So let's see, click on orders. And here we have the new order, the order of today. So let me click on this order. And here you can see that we have delivery map link which is like this so this was the google location which we were interested to track so this is available here delivery map location so that uh, you can also see additional uh, details like delivery latitude delivery longitude delivery address and delivery map link so this uh, map link you can share with your support i mean to say that your staff members are delivery boy and he will able to uh, do all the stuff uh, accordingly i mean deliver the uh, product on the specific location here in the email you can also see that this order has been confirmed and delivery location is also available here so that means you have the coordinates you have view on google maps link also so you should click on this link so that specific location you will see in your google map also so this coordinate or this link you can share with your delivery boy so that's how actually we can sync all the things in one place. So right here, if you are copying this uh, link, so let me copy it and uh, pasting it in your uh, browser. So you will also see the location on your Google map.
So that's how you can actually uh, do this feature into your Shopify store. If you are facing any issues or something, so you can definitely uh, ask me, I will help you out in that. I have already given the download link below in the description. So you can actually uh, install it into your Shopify store without having any kind of app in your store because using app you will have to pay monthly fees but this is something which you can use it forever so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel if you have any new feature to develop in your shopify store definitely you can ask me i will help you out in creating a new section a new design or maybe anything new which is helpful for your shopify store you can also book a call with me so we can discuss more about any other feature if you are interested to add in your shopify store so thank you so much once again see you in the next video